Tom have teamed up with Thames Valley Police for a little experiment. PC Coke and I are going to hit the motorways to see how big the problem of middle lane hogging really is. Have a look down this road here. Everybody is sitting out. Sitting in lane two. I can't believe they're all doing it. I'm amazed actually at how bad this really is. Now he's going to undertake us. Here we go. Now he's just undertaken us. This guy was at the front of the train. We are going to have a chat with him. Let's go and see what we've got. So this driver was at the head of a line of traffic. It was causing quite a concertina effect with a load of other cars behind. Have you ever heard of the phrase middle lane hogging? Vaguely. Did you know that it was illegal? Well, I remember it being mentioned a few years back, but it's a, I didn't realise I was doing it. You can see quite often we go down the motorway, we'll see lane one virtually empty and vehicles in lane two and three all stacked up and it impedes our progress to get to an emerging situation. First misconception about the lanes and what they're called. There's no such thing as a slow lane. There's no such thing as a fast lane. The lanes are numbered one, two, three and so forth. Are you aware then that it's actually an offence? No. To, to not use the lanes properly? No, I didn't know that. So that was now explained to you? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that at all. So there you have it, middle lane hogging really is a big issue and although you may not be aware that you're doing it, the motorway is definitely not the place to be on autopilot. So next time you're driving and you think you might be hogging that middle lane, just move over to the left. The road loves a considerate driver.